Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Private Hire Mike, and in today's video, guys, I am going to be installing the AutoVox Solar wireless reversing camera. Now, this is a great camera for you guys out there who want to do it yourself, who you don't want to pay a technician to wire it. You can get this on Amazon right now, I believe, for about £110. I'll put the link down below in the description. It's very easy to install. I'm actually going to be installing it myself. Just wash the car, as you can see, and um, I'm going to basically put it in the car i'm going to be filming this myself so it's probably not going to be the best video on how to do it but i thought i'd showcase it with you anyway because it's been a while since i posted some content on this channel so uh if we just go around i'm actually in the halfords car park at the moment and uh here we have the camera here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take it out of the box and then the next clip you'll see will be everything that's inside the camera. Okay guys, as you can see inside the box, we've got the mounting plate for the dash. That's basically where the LCD screen will be placed inside your car. And then we've got the 12 volt adapter for the car, which will power the LCD screen. And then we have the baby here, which is the camera. And then it's got the solar panel here. I believe you can also charge this as well, just in case it doesn't get enough sunlight. And then you've got the adhesive tape, which basically allows the product to be mounted onto the number plate, right? So what I'm gonna do now is take my number plate off. If you actually wanna know how to do it, there are some great YouTube videos, which I'll also link down below in the description that will, will show you how to do it. But I wanted to show you guys, because maybe some of you out here don't know about this product, maybe have avoided doing this because you know you have to go to an electrician to fit all the wiring and stuff. This is very easy. Um, the time now is quarter past one, just gone. And um, I'll show you my watch again once it's done, all right? So let's do this. So here we have it. I've now installed the unit. All you need to do is just take off your number plate. So obviously your number plate will have the screws. Sometimes it will have a cover. You just need to take off the cover and then yeah, literally the number plate comes off. So that's what I've done. I cleaned underneath the number plate with just a little bit of water and some soap just to get off the adhesive because sometimes number plates have adhesive on them. And then all you do is just line up the solar panel do bear in mind though you want to make sure that you're not covering up any of the letters on your number plate because you could probably get stopped by the police so what i've done is just ensured that the solar panel bar is underneath the numbers and then obviously the camera there's plenty of space there to display the full number plate obviously you're watching this on youtube so you won't be able to see my entire number plate but you get the idea now the silly thing that i've done guys is i was meant to charge the actual solar panel, solar panel rather, for four hours before using it. And obviously I didn't read the instructions because I was following YouTube videos and they didn't mention this. So basically underneath here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little flap. And in there you basically plug in your micro USB and then charge it for the first four hours. A few moments later. All right, so we've now installed the camera. And as you can see, it's now been picked up by the LCD screen here, which is mounted i've got my one mounted on the uh, the dash here and it's just powered here with the car 12 volt adapter it allows you to put in one other usb here which is okay but i actually need another one so i might try and take the actual wire out of this and then try and plug it into another one with more input sockets for the usb now that we've got it on basically it's got a menu at the moment i'm in a quiet place so you can just see bushes but if I just press this button here you can see it's got these options so for example pair so at first when you turn it on you're gonna have to pair it and then you just click the middle button again and it will pair it mine's already been done so no need to do that and then it's got a brightness control so for example you can turn up the brightness or you can lower it and also like a contrast control so you know you can fiddle around with that if you need to and then here we go, it's got a thing where it will mirror the image or it will actually show it as it is. I prefer it when it mirrors it. Reversing time, you can have 45 seconds, 60 seconds or 90 seconds. I like to leave mine on 90 actually because 
sometimes I actually just like to still see what's behind me even though I've pulled off um, and then we've got grid lines my ones are on at the moment I probably can't see it that well or you can turn them off and that's about it really yeah this has been quite a good product for me and the way I found out about it actually was one day I was thinking about getting a reversing camera and I thought to myself hmm you know I can get it but then I've got to wire it probably go to an electrician to do it for me because I'm not really good with those kind of things and then they need to drill a hole somewhere in your car and then sort of mess around with the wiring and the thing with the hybrid cars is that you don't want to put too much electronics in it because it needs that electricity for the hybrid system so this literally runs on solar panel at the back and then basically the LCD screen it runs on the car's battery so it's perfect I will link it down below in the description so that you can find it on Amazon I'm not affiliated with, it, with this product by any means I just thought I would share it with you guys in case you've got an older car which doesn't have a factory built reversing camera inside and um, you know if you're driving in London and you need to get into a tight space or need to reverse for a customer then this is probably the way to go it's totally legal as well just make sure that when you're putting it on the back where the number plate is that you don't cover up any of the letters on your number plate because obviously you will get pulled over by the police and you could even get points for obstructing your number plate anyway guys hope you've liked this video please do hit the thumbs up button because it helps me out on the algorithm drop me a question below if you need to and if you're not a family member yet here at the channel consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video